Uh, shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakar Kadash. Double honors to the elders, apostles, great millstone, preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. And uh, shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. And uh, shalom to the Akim that be like unto the speckled bird, preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. And I say shalom to you, Akim, out there. And this is a quick sit down lesson on this uh, March the 17th, 2022, on this Thursday afternoon. And the uh, title of this uh, news article, and it reads from March the 17th, 2022, which was updated at uh, 4 12 a.m. Eastern Time. Uh, this is from CNN.com. And, you know, this is a earthquake and the title of this lesson is going to be, you know, um, earthquakes in diverse places. And the highlight of this art, a uh, news article, and it reads a uh, four dead and at a 7.4 magnitude earthquake hits the coast of Japan, uh, Fukushima, uh, prefecture. If I pronounce that right, Salaki. In Tokyo, CNN, a 7.4 magnitude earthquake hits eastern Japan late Wednesday night, killing at least four people and injuring over 100 others and cutting power to millions of homes. And one of the people who died was a man in his 60s who lived in the city of Samoa. Uh, the local disaster prevention uh, office said on Thursday the quake hit off the coast of Japan eastern Fukushima uh, prefecture a region devastated by a powerful quake and a tsunami 11 years ago that resulted a nuclear power plant met meltdown uh, and it says um uh, it says the tsunami advisor was issued at the Wednesday's quake for the coastal prefectures of Fukushima and Maigai, if I pronounce that right, Shalaki, was lifted on Thursday morning. A Japanese prime minister, Fumio, uh, Fumio Kasada, later said no abnormals have been detected at any other country nuclear plants it says the quake has a preliminary epic center depth of 60 kilometers or 37 miles it says japan meteorologist agent it was warned of tsunami heights reach up to one meter above normal tide levels which the initial waves reach uh shore around midnight local time 11 a.m. Eastern time. It says about an hour and a half after the earthquake, an eight inch tsunami occurred along the coastline of Japan's uh, Maigai Prefecture, according to the agencies which uh, urge people in affected areas to stay away from the coast. It says a bullet train derailed near Fukushima's as a result of the earthquake, but no injuries were reported. Kashada uh, said at a press conference, according to the public broadcasters, the NHK 78 people were trapped for hours after a high speed train derailed but escaped uninjured through an emergency exit. Uh, so, you know, I wasn't going to get too much into it, but, you know, I'm just going to get to straight to the point. You know, as you, you know, in the last days, you know, you're going to see of a uh, increase of these uh, high magnitudes of earthquakes. You know, you're going to see earthquakes that's like a 5.9, 6.0, uh, 6.5, 6.7, 7.0. Uh, 7.5, you know, this was a 7.4, you know, you're going to start to see this around the world, especially in the upcoming months in the year 2022, in these uh, current modern day times that we are living in. So, you know, these uh, 
earthquakes of uh, diverse places around the world is gonna cause a lot of damage. You know, especially in the times that we are living in, how the way, you know, how the way Idumians, you know, mess with the weather system and stuff like that, with the chemtrails in the skies, you know, skies be gray, you know, mess with the sun, you know, the uh, ecosystem, ozone layers and stuff like that, you know. Just like the book of Job 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. You know, and you cover the fences of the judges, that rough, you know. And, you know, you're going to see the increase of these uh, earthquakes in diverse places, you know. And I'm going to bring out a scripture for that. You know, just getting straight to the point, you know. And this is the book of... Uh, This is the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 7. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. There shall be famine and pestilence, and earthquakes in diverse places, right? You're going to see the increase of uh, earthquakes in diverse places. And there's going to be many, many more to come, you know, in these current times, especially with the so-called climate change and Mother Nature that they call. It's really, you know, Yahweh al Shai doing these things, you know. You're going to see more these uh, earthquakes around the world. You're going to see more floodings, more storms, heavy earthquakes around the world. And that's going to cause a lot of damaging, especially with these uh, floodings, these landslides, you know, especially about uh, last month over there in Brazil. You know, they got hit with that uh, hard uh, uh, mudslides over there. And it was, I believe it was like over 100 something people had that over there. You know, the northern region of uh, Rio, Rio, uh, over there in Brazil. <clears throat> now you got uh, this uh, earthquake over here in Japan. You got hit with a 7.4 magnitude earthquake, you know. Four people had died and over 100, uh, over 100 got injured, you know. And these things going to increase in the last days that we are currently living in, you know. It's going to get more uh, effective and effective and effective, you know, and it's going to cause a lot of more damaging and more damaging, you know, especially with these high magnitudes of these earthquakes, you know, it's going to cause a lot of uh, destruction, it's going to cause a lot of damage, it's going to uh, destroy a lot of people's homes, you know, these gas stations, these businesses, you know, these uh, cars, it's going to destroy everything, you know, because you know, that's how, that's the power of Yahweh Bashim El Shai, you know, especially with these heavy earthquakes, man, you know, especially, you know, you're going to see more earthquakes, especially over there in the West Coast in the United States. You're going to see some around the world as well, too. And I expect to see more of these uh, increased earthquakes and, and uh, tornadoes and storms, especially like the the southern region in the United States and the West Coast, you know, you're going to see all these around the world, you know, that's why, you know, that's why it's going to be an increase of uh, earthquakes in diverse places around the whole world. And we are seeing that right in front of our eyes, you know, because these are uh, biblical prophecies of the times that we are currently living in. So expect to see more of high increase of these magnitudes of these uh, earthquakes in diverse places around the world, you know. So with that, you know, I hope this quick sit-down lesson was edifying through the spirit, power, grace, and mercy of Yahweh, Yahweh, Shah. And uh, first and foremost, <clears throat> I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shah, Bahashem, Rakhakadash. Double honors to the elders, apostles, a great millstone, preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. Shalom unto the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. And shalom unto the Akim, uh, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. And shalom unto the Akim, that be like unto the speckled bird, preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. And before I close out this sit down lesson on this uh, Passover weekend from uh, March the 16th, all the way into March the 23rd of 2022. 
So, you know, it goes to show you that, you know, it's going to be more an increase of uh, earthquakes in diverse places throughout the whole planet Earth. You know, you're going to see it in these next upcoming months in the year 2022 in these modern current day times that we are living in. But, you know, this is the year of uh, uh, Yahweh Bashim El Shai. And the year 2022 is turning up the heat on things. And it's going to increase more and more with the earthquakes in diverse places. And so with that, I will say Shalom.